fear. What is it? Some think of it as their greatest weakness. It's what keeps them from really living and it's eating them up from inside. For some, fear is the itch that begs to find out. They're the ones that can't keep calm if they don't yet know something they want to know. Others see fear as something to conquer. It's that little voice in their head that keeps whispering to them, do it. It's their milestone, their goal. It's something they strive to live for. I'm not like others. My fear is my greatest ally. My fear of losing, of giving up, that's kept me alive through all these years. Every day I keep clinging to that fear, hoping to survive. It's this house. It doesn't want to let me go. It doesn't want me to leave. And if a house like this wasn't weird enough, it's definitely not for sentimental reasons. This house is a living creature. I can hear it breathe every night. I can hear its blood running through its veins under the four walls. And this house feeds on people. I'm its source of food. Every day it digests me more and more, trying to force me to give up while I run through it, trying to find answers. That it doesn't want me to know. But I think I can still get out. I think there are other people here that have survived. I've heard them screaming a few times throughout these years. I want to find them. I want to listen to their life stories. I want to know why they're here. I haven't been able to sleep much. I'm afraid of the dark. Ever since I was little, I've been paranoid of the unknown. Everything that lurks in the darkness of the night is the most frightening thing to me. This house is full of darkness and creatures that hide within it. Darkness is everywhere. I can't sleep. Silence, that is what scares me the most, and here, in a house with no noise and not a single human soul living in it, silence is everywhere. I want to talk to somebody, I want to share my pain with another person, but the only living beings in this house are spiders living in the dark corners of the attic. I don't want to die alone, but this house is wrapped in silence, so I know that will eventually happen. I am about to become silent myself. It's driving me mad. It's feeding on my thoughts. 
every day my mind just kept getting empty and empty and I now have only one thought in mind, getting out. This house is almost finished devouring me, I've almost given up. I've spent the last of my days here looking up at the sky, desperate to imagine. I think I understand now, your fear, whatever may it be, what binds you to this place. Only by letting go of these fears, you can cut the chains that keep you locked in this house. That is what I realized. In the end, I got out of here. But those who are too afraid to let go of their fears never got the chance to live. If you're not brave enough to stand up to your fear, then you are forever bound to this house, and you never are given a chance to live your life. What would you do if you could never leave?